Ross punishment been over? That's not interesting. Yeah. That is not very interesting, okay? So let's let's not go there. And again, make sure that we are being mindful of the time. Okay. We learned probability theorem yesterday, right? If everybody waste five minutes of the class's time, what is the probability of really learning something? One sixth. That was just an assumption. We have more than ten kids in the class. Oh. We might do negative learning. We might start forgetting things that we already know. Yeah. Okay. I will start being okay. 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 So you don't want to repeat? You don't want me to repeat the same punishment for you? And I don't enjoy that. Okay. I was feeling bad about it. Okay. Last class after you went, I was feeling bad about it. Okay. Trust me. So let, let's not do that. Okay. Let's be careful. All right. So today we are going to learn about transformations, meaning rigid transformations and non-rigid transformation, which is called dilation. And then we'll talk about translation of points and translation of shapes. What is geometry? Does it hurt? So I picked up a topic, see, I just picked up a topic that, that is not explained in the class, class, then you don't have an opportunity now, put your hands down. I've not even started talking, what, how come you have a question still? I have not started talking, how come you have a question still? But at the ratio, my dad, at the probability, my dad said that every subject in the world has probability. Okay, one last thought, definitely. Uh, yeah, are we going to remember this? Which grade will this is this is seventh grade actually. Okay. Can yeah. I have pencil? I don't have pencil here, but you can use the marker if that helps. Uh, here. Alright. So everybody, everybody here, everybody in the class, everybody has to be very serious for next fifty five minutes. Otherwise it will be a waste of waste of time, okay? Alright. So we everybody. So we are going to learn about transformations. What is transformation in the first place? You will be the last person to be given a chance. So hold it there. In the third grade, no, stop it there. Stop it there. Please. Please. Don't make me feel bad. What is transformation? Okay. Is it like the, like the reflection transmission or something like that? Okay. Wait. That's one guess. Yeah, Moga. Tell me. Are you talking about translations or transformations? I'm talking about transformation. That is the first starting point. And and guys, Advik. Oh, okay. That's so weird. Okay. Pay attention to the class. Yeah, yeah, Boga. Transformation is a is a much bigger topic, and translation is a part of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. What is the understanding that you guys have about transformation? That's what I want to hear. Yeah, yes. yeah. Amoga, you want to start? Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like, how do I explain this? Okay. It's like a, a it's like a manipulation of like a shape. Okay. Like a pre-image and then it becomes an original image like that. Adam, have you learned from your mistakes or not? Oh. And Google, uh, uh, not fun. It's not fun. It's like before and after. Yeah. So, so okay. That that is one uh, one uh, definition. Yeah, Bivu one. You want to say something? Yeah. Um. I think it's like um. Like it's like a reflection or a rotation on, on a different quadrant from one point. Okay, that's another definition. Very mathematical though, but yeah. Pranav, any other way that you want to say? No. Okay. So, when you talk about transformation. Okay. Transformation. When you talk about transformation, you are talking about a shape. Either changing position or place, alignment or shape even at times. Okay. So that's why transformation of two types. One is called rigid transformation and one is called non-rigid transformation. So when you talk about rigid transformation, what does it mean? It's rigid. Rigid meaning, look at this triangle. I said when you say transformation, there are three scenarios or possibilities that you're talking about. Either it moves its place, 
or it rotates this way or that way or or flips to create a mirror image yeah either it moves or it rotates this way or this way or it flips or creates a mirror, mirror image of itself but when i said rigid meaning it's, it's stubborn it's strong it doesn't change its shape so this triangle if it had let's say three angles with some value and three sides with certain length those dimensions would not change they'll remain same form you can just rotate them it's like if you if you move me out of this house my shape will not change i'll just get dislocated from here to there that's it so technically a resistance is like a fixed shape and a non resistant is a like the shape's not really uh, that that's how you'll conclude but hold it for a little bit till i conclude so when you talk about a transformation which is rigid transformation you are essentially talking about a shape just either moving rotating or creating a mirror image of itself without changing its dimension does it make sense now now you look at the screen let's say i have um let's see if i i draw a triangle let's say i will i probably so, okay let me not use the phone i will so let's say if i have a triangle and i zoom this is my phone screen okay i zoom zoom out okay so i did zoom out what happened this became a smaller triangle if i zoomed out further it became a much smaller triangle what happened the angles remained the same the sides just the sides sides became smaller so it it still gives you the same similar view of the shape it doesn't change from a triangle to a quadrilateral it did not become a rectangle either but then it remained a triangle but kept on squeezing to a smaller size you have a um oh yeah yes for sure transformation in simple terms transformation means something changing to the shape beat beat a movement beat a rotation beat creation of a mirror image or zoom in zoom, in, zoom out so when you are talking about zoom in zoom out you are talking about as a phenomenon of transformation which is called non rigid transformation or there is a term called dilation so when you are so at a high level if you talk about there are two flavors of transformation we know one is called rigid transformation and second is called non rigid trans transformation non rigid transformation in this rigid transformation you talk about three one is called translation rotation and mirror image okay or reflection whatever you call it 
and this one is not only translation is transformation is called dilation. So dilation is nothing but zooming in, zooming out. So it's the same image, same object, same shape, but smaller or bigger version. So the proportion remains the same. So this is where you can relate this dilation with the concept of similar triangles or similar quadrilaterals. When you say similar, if you guys remember what is similar, this is a triangle, this is a triangle, these two are not same. They cannot be congruent, but they can be similar. When you say similar meaning, all the three angles are matching, not the sides. Meaning the ratio of the sides will be matching. Angles will be matching, not the length of the sides. Don't go very far. I did not say that. This is not, I did not even say that this is an equilateral triangle, right? This could be a non equilateral triangle also. It could be scalar, it could be a socialist triangle also. But you are just seeing a smaller version of it. That's it. Okay? It has nothing to do with one type of triangle. I'm just saying that these are similar triangles. It's exactly if, if you guys can relate it to what you see every day around yourself, it's zooming in, zooming out. That's it. Yeah? So, Bhupal. Here we go. Okay. All right. So two flavors of trans transformation we just heard about. Now when you come across a question which says, okay, translate a triangle. Now now let's let's add more fun to it. So you have a triangle lying in a coordinate plane here. Let's say this is a triangle. Okay. I am not saying coordinate plane yet. If I say translate this by 3 comma 2. What does it mean? T is an acronym for translate. Oh. So when you say translate, that means you are saying move. move. Yeah, Amuga, you are saying something? It means translate uh, 3 units to the right and then 3 units up. 2 units up. Yeah. But, but now here, what happened? Why you guys are behaving mischievously? No, so, no, did I look at you? No. No. So <laughs> sit, sit down properly, brother. Sit down properly. So when okay. So when when I say translate this by three comma two, what it means is move it three to the right because it's a plus. So it will move in the x direction, x coordinate along the x coordinate by three units and two units. Along the y coordinates. No, ask questions once you understand. Don't ask for the sake of asking. You are not privileged to ask questions every two minutes. Is that clear? Yeah. So, is this part, is this translation part understood conceptually? We have not done any mathematics about it. If I say task, okay, let me give you guys some examples. Let's, let's start even talk about triangle first. Let's see I have a line. This is my coordinate plane. This is a line segment A and B. Okay, A's coordinates are let's say this is 2 comma 2 and this is like let's say 5 comma 6. Yeah, I'm over. Should I answer the question or should I? No, no, I, I have not given the question yet. I'm just giving an example to explain this and then we'll come back to the question. <coughs> so here, I have a line segment with two ends like this. If I say translate this by 3 comma 2. When I say translate, translate a line. Oh. You are not translating a line from English to Hindi or English to Telugu or Tamil or any other language. You are talking about moving this shape or this object with this. Now we will do a double click on that to understand what exactly that means also. If somebody says translate by minus 2 comma minus 3 let's say. Please, don't jump to confusion. Let me complete the sentence, okay? Now, 
let's say if I say translate by 1 minus 2. What does it mean? Let's try understanding that part first. Whenever you say translate, translate means move in, in, in this term. Okay. When you say translate, 3 comma 2 meaning this whole line moves to the right. If you have a plus, it moves by 3 points. So this point will move by 3 points. This point will move by 3 points. The whole line shifts this way. But I, did, I talked about only 3 points. Now it says 3 comma 2 meaning this point will move by 3 points to the x in the x direction, x axis and then by 2 points above in the positive direction. So this point which was here before has come to here. Same thing this point also moves by 3 points here and 2 points there. So when you say translate that means the whole object, every point on the object moves by 3 points on the x axis and this many points on the y axis. Oh. Similarly if you look at this minus 2 comma minus 3 what it means is everything moves minus 2 points meaning to, to the left by, by 2 points and this many points down. So by 3 points. So if it was here at 2, it will move by 3 points below. 1, 2 and 3. It will come to minus 1. Y will become from 2 to minus 1. Okay. So this translation, I mean just, just look at the numbers. If you see a positive number for x coordinate, it's moving in the right direction. If you are seeing a negative number for the x coordinate, it's moving in the left direction. Similarly, if you see a positive number for y coordinate, it's moving in the uh, upward direction. If you see a negative number, it's moving downward by that many points. Does that does that make sense so far, or I'm just getting you guys confused? No, it makes sense. I thought it was in the middle. I guess it's in the middle of the shape. Yeah. No, no. Every point in the line. So, okay. Yeah, you have a question? Um, so no, no. That, have you have a question or you are trying to explain to me? Question. What is the question? So it said if, if we did um, to the right, left, to we like do like east and west and north and south instead of doing this? Are you sitting on the earth and trying to do it <laughs> or you are doing it on a two coordinate plane? Does it matter? Are we in geography? So, so see, that's why I am saying, you have to always ask yourself, is this a question that will add value? If it's a, an invalid question, it will just waste time. So be mindful of that, okay? East, West, North, South, where did it come from? Tell me here. In a coordinate plane, you only talk about X. You only, no, no. So I'm saying you still talk about X or Y direction. That's it. You have only two options here. If you, if you want to deal with simple things, which math is meant for, you will only look at X and Y coordinates. You don't really need North, South here. You just need positive and negative, right? If I am driving on the road, it's very easy for me if somebody says, okay, turn right or turn left. If somebody says, okay, go north, I'm dead. Go forward. I don't know where to go. Am I in the north direction? Am I in the south direction? Go north. Which way is north? I don't know. So that's why left, right, front, back is better, easier to understand. And that's, that's where the coordinate plane also helps you. So don't complicate it by adding more dimensions to it. There are only two dimensions here. Okay? Yep. Everybody on the screen, were you guys able to follow me what I said or is it, is it getting more confusing as I speak? Okay. Oh, 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 okay, we want to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Vidur, is that, is that understandable so far? Yes. How about you Pranav, all good? Yeah. Okay. Sagnika, all good? I see thumbs up, but still I'm just trying to be doubly sure. Bivuan, you are with me? Tisha, all good? All right. Yeah. Okay, so now, if I say, now let me give you guys a question here. I have a straight line. I believe I would want everybody to solve, okay? Nobody is here for any speech. It's not, I know it's election time, but no speech from me for sure, okay? So, if I have a line segment with the coordinates as 2 and 3, 2 and 1, let's say 2 and 2, and 4 and 7, 
if i translate this by minus 2 comma 4 what will be the new coordinate for new coordinates for for b can you say wait, again? wait what's b again? don't waste your energy just for asking question hear me out clearly i'll read it one more time i'll read it one more time the question is, I have a line segment with the two points A and B. Okay? The coordinate of A is 2, comma 2. Coordinate of B is 4, comma 7. When we translate this line by minus 2, comma 4, what will be the new coordinates for B? Yeah, Bibon, you had a question? Um. I don't know a question. Should I answer it? So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, know the answer you're saying or you don't know the question itself? No, I know the answer. You know the answer? I think. Okay. I think I'm... I, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. So, you can keep your hands raised so that I can ask you. Like when... negative is all so, is that, is yeah. the coordinate 4, 7? 4 and 7, yes. Yeah. The current coordinates are 4 and 7. I want to know what will be the new coordinate after this translation. Wait, are you asking us which order it would be on? No, I'm just asking the new coordinates. Right now the coordinates are 4 and 7. So I want to know what will be the coordinates after this translation. Okay. Vivan, you had a question? Or you know the answer? I know the answer. Oh, you know the answer. Okay. I'll come to you. Yeah. Uh, Native words left. So, see, again, don't rely on me, okay? Now look at this. Don't ask me whether negative goes left or right. See, if you look at the x-coordinate, if you go this way, then it's positive. Oh. If you go this way, it's negative. Similarly, why? This way is positive, this way is negative. So, you can relate with that, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we do. You had a question? Or you have to know the answer? No, I think I know the answer. Okay, I'll come to you. Yeah. Pranam, how about you? I know the answer. Wonderful. Okay. Amoga, question or answer? I have the answer. Okay. Tisha, question or answer? Answer. Answer. Okay. Cure Wonderful. A. Huh? Cure A. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. What is the answer? Five Any two of you? Two by two eleven. Okay. I got... Okay. I got one answer as new coordinates for B, or I'll call it B dash. 2, 11. 11. Okay, that is one answer. Vidur, what is the answer? I think negative 4, 14. Negative 4, 14. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Pranav? Who come 11? Um, what is that? Who come 11? 2 comma 11. Okay. So, same as this one. Okay. Amoga, what is your answer? I got 2 comma 11. 2 comma 11. Okay. This one is getting more words. Okay. Aryan, what would be your answer? Better? I also got 2 comma 11. One more word, 2, two oh, comma 11. Okay. Same. I also got Same. Yeah. Sarnik also got same. Okay. How about you, Myra? Is Maya in the class still? Yes, I'm here. Uh, what would be our answer? I got you from Okay. Uh, everybody else after the class, once you guys go home, I cannot check, but with Myra I can check for sure. How did she get to uh, 2 comma 11? Okay, let's see. Yeah, how much did you get? I got 2 comma 4. Okay. Alright, so many of you got 2 comma 11, some of you got minus 4 comma 14. So let's see. I will keep on repeating myself, I don't trust any of you. When it comes to math, I will do it myself. So, wait, wait. No discussion, no debate. My coordinates are 4 comma 7. Translation says it will change x by minus 2, y by 4. It is very simple. Whatever is my coordinate, 
I will add this part plus this part for x. I will take the second one and add this part. So this becomes 4 plus minus 2, that is 4 minus 2, that is 2, 7 plus 4, 11. So that would be the answer. So in simple terms, when you talk, look at translation, you have this coordinate and you have to add this translation, you will simply add them. You simply add them and you get the answer. There is no big thing here. Now let's add little more complexity to it. Okay, Bhupal, this one you, are, you also will have to solve. Yo, someone, someone right next to me is talking too much. No. So, I can't focus. <laughs> no, Adam, you don't have any luxury now. You have to be very serious. I mean, so is the case with everybody, but you have exhausted a lot of your fun element. Next couple of months, I will not let you have fun. This class is not for fun any which way, okay? For you also, better. I would want you to go to level 3 as soon as possible, okay? So we have to focus on what we are learning here and then we will go to level 3, okay? So now, here, I have a triangle. The coordinates are 1, 4, 1, 8, 4, 2, and 3, comma, no, it's going to be 1, comma, 4, 1, comma, 8. This is 6, comma, 4, and this is 3, comma, 12. Okay? okay? Look at this question carefully. I'm not going to ask you guys dumb question. I'm going to trick you. I'm telling you guys up front. Okay? 1 comma 4, 6 comma 4, 3 comma 4, this is, this is the 3 comma 12, are the 3 coordinates of this point, uh, of this triangle, of the 3 vertices, okay. Now, there are 2 things I want, what will be the, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, if I do a translation by 6, comma, minus 12, okay, what will be the new coordinate for C? 1, what will be the new coordinate for C? And tell me the length of BC. Length of BC. Of BC. I am reading it one more time. This is a triangle with the three vertices with the coordinates as 3 comma 12, 1 comma 4 and 6 comma 4. If I do a translation by 6 comma minus 12, what will be the new coordinate for C and what is the length of the side BC? Yeah, we won. I have the answer. Both the answers. What is the new coordinate for C and what is the length of the side BC? Yeah. Okay. Keep the answers to yourself. I don't want everybody else to get biased. Let them try. I'm all done. You got both the answers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How about you? I'm all done. Tanu, you got the answer as well? Yeah, I'm working on BC. Okay. Whoever got the answer can raise the hand. Okay. No, no. I, I heard you, you being ready. Uh, apart from you. Okay. Vidur, you also got the answer? Yes. Okay. I only got one of the answers though. What is that? I only got the answer for C equals. So I, so I would want, while we are waiting for everybody else to finish, I would want you to look at this drawing and think about it and tell me what is the length of BC because that's a very easy one. Trust me, you will laugh at me once I disclose that. Okay. Sure, quick. And don't take the slipper inside. 
I keep the zipper outside. What is that? Don't, don't play with me, okay? Yeah. You want the length of BC? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This map is too easy. I, I, I don't like bragging. I don't brag. I don't let anybody brag. Like if, if you know, I will see it. So, okay, hold it there. Hold it there. Don't, don't, don't take me out of my comfort zone. Put your hands down. Math is even harder than English math because English is too easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pranav, you got the answer? He did ask you. Everybody got the answer? Aryan, you got the answer, Buddha? Yes. Okay. So, when I say answer, you guys got the coordinates for point C and you got the length of side BC as well. Yep. Yeah. B1, you got both? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Who's yet working on it? Or who is still working on it? Amoga, you got the answer? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Let's, let's see. What is the answer? What is the length of BC, Drupal? Length of BC is 0, 0,8. No, length. I said length. Length of BC. No, it's... Aref, you have to mind your business. You don't have to say expressions for others' thing. If somebody has not understood, I will explain. That is my job. No remarks from anybody else. Arif, I'll get you out of the class. Control yourself. Okay. Yeah, what is the answer? For BC? Length of BC. That was my question. What is the length of BC? BC is the side, this one. Yeah. Think about it and then tell me, okay? okay. Arif, what is the length? Five. Oh, I got, oh yeah, I wrote that for the length, B goes 5. I'm okay. reading this. Okay, so fine. So that, that's what? I'm so, reading the other thing. Yeah, so you, you know how, how you got 5, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That that was your answer as well, BC. What are the coordinates for C? Yeah? Um, it is 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, C or BC? Huh? What is that? Like for like the C or BC? Both, BC. both, both. Okay, for BC I got like five. Okay. For C I got twelve comma negative eight. Okay, okay. How about you, Vidur? You got the same? Huh? Yeah, I got twelve negative eight for C. I don't know what I got. I couldn't understand BC. Okay. So, you got, uh, what are the coordinates for C after translation? Zero. Uh, 12 negative 8. 12 negative 8. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for, me, I got zero, for C, I got 0 negative 8. Zero, 0 negative 8? Yeah. 0 negative 8. Oh, C? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 0 negative 8. Okay. okay. And for the length, I got five. Okay. Yeah, Boga, what was your answer? I got um, 12 negative 8 for C. Uh huh. And I got five. Okay. And you will say length of BC, ideally, it should be in 5 centimeters, 5 millimeter, 5 kilometer, whatever it is. Five. But since we have not said unit here, you can say this many units. Oh, wait, whatever be the unit. Oh, I know. Huh? Yeah. 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 So, so when, are you asking for like how, how far it is from each other? Or you I'm saying the length of BC. So length of BC, whenever I say length, right? Length would be always in a unit, right? I meant, I meant since we don't know what is the unit here, we'll say five units. Up now, now you can, I mean, depending on uh, how the question is framed, we'll, we'll figure out. I have to say 12. Yeah, okay. 12 minus 8. So we won. Is your answer the same? Okay. Alright. So, uh, Tisha, you got the same answer? Yes. Ah, okay. Pranav, you still have a question or you want to change your answer? No, I have a question. 
Okay. Is the length of BC after you convert, uh, after you like calculate C or is it before? So, it doesn't matter actually. Because it's a rigid transformation. Meaning the shape is just moving from one place to other place. Meaning the dimensions are not changing. The length would not change. The location would change. It's like you're moving me out of my house and putting me in my neighbor's house. But my shape, my texture, my look will not change. My dimensions are not changing. Yeah? Yeah. Alright? So now coming back to Vidur. And any of you who have not understood this concept. See this, look at this. This is a picture, right? When you have a question, when you draw this picture here, look at this B B C. We are talking about B C. When you look at B C, when you look at this in a graph paper, right? What you will see is this is one four, meaning x coordinate is one and y coordinate is four. And when you look at this here, the x coordinate is six, y coordinate is four, meaning this is pretty much a straight line. This is a straight line. Y coordinate is same. So the, the length would be the difference of the X coordinate between this point and this point. Yeah, Vidur? I accidentally thought it was AC and not BC. Yeah, no, no, so this is this is BC. For AC, we will learn it later on. There, there is a way to find out the length of uh, no, a line by knowing the X and Y coordinate. So we can we can find that out, okay? Again, I'm sorry? I got five. You got five, yeah. And let me let me extend that to the next information, okay? Now, now so so I think everybody understood this. How you have to find out how to use translation to find out the coordinates and how do you find the length by just looking at the picture. Now let me give you guys a problem to solve, which I have not explained, but I have explained you different concepts that you have to relate. So I'm just trying to check. If whatever we have learned in the past, can you apply it here and try solving it? Yeah, Duchita. Um, um, can you explain like the how did you get the length again? Yeah, so this is this is the triangle and the coordinates were 1 comma 4 and 6 comma 4. Now you look at this. When you look at this as a graph paper, you will see that the this both are following the same line okay because the y coordinate is same 4 so this height is same from here to here and here to here the same so this is actually a straight line and this is 1 comma 4 so x x coordinate value is 1 and here the x coordinate value is 6 so here it is 1 and here it is 6 and this is the length that you're trying to figure out right so you'll sub, since your y coordinate are same you're just subtracting the this x coordinates value from uh, sorry this coordinates x coordinates value from this x coordinate value and that will be your length because this is horizontal line yeah okay sir now now let me give you guys more fun yes sir wait don't give more why why you want to give a definition the beginning itself Let's see the question, read the question, hear the question. I might think this is harder. You might be 10 times more intelligent than me and you might find it easy. Yeah. So let's, let's see. I have this line. Okay. A and B. When I say line, it's actually line segment. Okay. This coordinate is 3 comma 4. And this coordinate is 6 comma 8. I want you to find out the length of AB now. What? Find out the length of AB. A, A coordinates are 3 comma 4. B coordinates are 6 comma 8. I want you guys to find out the length of AB. Wait, as in X or Y or not? A length of AB. And assume that this is oh, this is this is in this is in centimeter. Okay? This is also in centimeter. Yeah, Vishal. Can I tell the answer? Yeah, tell me. Five. Five? Yeah. Um, let me do my rough calculation before disclosing it to everybody else. I got three. Yeah. Yeah, I got three. Yeah, three. 
I said length of AB, okay, remember that. Length of AB. I'm not talking about X coordinate or Y coordinate, okay? So, so Vishal said 5, I'm just checking myself. Yeah, yeah, maybe right. Maybe right, I mean, I, I, mean, I don't want everybody else to get biased. But yeah, Vishal says 5. How about you, Vibhur? Vidur, sorry. I think it's 0. You, you think 0? Yeah. It cannot be 0. It's a length. It's a length. Uh, oh, I want you guys to struggle with yourself, explore a few extra variant cells and try it out. I, and trust me, honestly speaking, I've not taught this in the class, okay? But I've taught something else and I'm just trying to figure out if you guys are able to relate it with what you have learned before. Okay, Dikshita. I think it's 5, sir. It's 5, okay. I will come back to you guys. Whoever has told 5, I will try figuring out how did it come to 5. And if I get the right convincing answer, that will deserve a round of applause. Okay. Uh, so, Bibi 1, yeah, tell me. Yeah, I got 5. You also got 5. Okay. Suggestions. Yeah, Pranav. I got 3. You got 3. Okay, how about you, Myra? You got five? Okay. How about you, Sarnika? I'm still doing it. Okay. Still okay. No problem. Uh, who is missing today? I think Sarvi is missing today. Yeah, Vishal. I was thinking if I can explain. Uh, I will let you know when to explain, okay? I still want the kids to try because what happens is if you explain, then they will get biased and they'll think, oh, this is the solution. Done. They will not use their own brain, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you also think five, okay? The answer was five. There was no need to punch somebody who's sitting next to you, right? Imagine a situation when you are in an examination, giving SAT exam, you have 50 questions to solve. Every question you solve, you are punching one person, you never <laughs> You'll end up in jail rather than getting a score. <laughs> Right? Okay. Oh, Gupal, Gupal, solve the problem, but that is more important. You got five? So, that, see, that is where, see, when, when I force you guys to think, yeah, Gitesh, what is your answer? I got five. You also got five? When, when you, when, you guys yourself force, I mean, when you guys force yourself to think, that is when you will get the answer, be it 5, be it 25, I don't care. I don't care about the answer, I care about the approach. Okay. Now, now, okay. Okay, I think we have only 12 more minutes for the class. So, be, be more, no. Uh, what do you call? Uh, no, no, not humble. I'm saying be concerned about yourself. Don't think of the whole world, okay? You are too small to think about the whole world. Think about yourself, okay? Maybe like stock market intervention. Keep your mouth shut. Is that a better way of saying so? No, you are not learning from a mistake. That is what I'm concerned about. Do your you you got five anyway. <coughs> no, don't don't get me outside my comfort zone. I, I really get frustrated when when I hear the same mistakes, when I see the same things being repeated over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, Pranav. So I want to change my mm -hmm. answer to five. You want to change your answer to five? Okay. There are still some kids struggling with themselves to figure out why five, why not five? Okay? <clears throat> and Bhupal, you don't have to provoke anybody. You mind your business, that's more important. Yeah. Okay, now, since Vishal started this, okay, Vishal was the first one to answer. Vishal, can you tell me the approach? What was that was going in your mind to get that file? What did you do? How did you approach it? I saw that um, the x-value difference from the x-value is 3 
and the y values is 4, so I applied the Pythagorean theorem for finding a right angle hypotenuse, which is 4 squared, but a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Yeah. So 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. That was the clue so, that I was trying to give everybody here in the class. Saying, here, by looking at the graph, you find out the coordinates, plot it, and then you relate that to the Pythagorean theorem. That is the way you will get 5. So whoever has got 5, by mistake, they have to come back to the concept that yes, there is a Pythagorean theorem here. And anybody else who, who believes there was a different reason for getting a 5. And, and I am open to a different possible answers. Look at this now. This, now you visualize this, okay? Now look at this point. This is 3 and 4, and this is 6 and 8. What is the length from here to here and here to here? Length from here to here is 6 minus 3. The x coordinate value, right? Here the x coordinate is 6, and here the x coordinate is 3. So this length is 3. Three units. Uh, I'm saying centimeters, so three centimeters. Now, what is the length from here to here? Eight minus four. Here it was eight. This height was eight, and this height was four. So, what is the length here? Four. Four centimeter. Now, when you look at this as a triangle, the right triangle, what do you see? This is the these are the two sides. This is the opposite side of this angle. This is the I mean these are two sides maybe ninety degree. And this is your hypotenuse. So this square plus this square will be equal to this square. This square is what? 4 square is 16 centimeter square. This square is what? 9, Nine centimeter square. These two together become 25 centimeter square. So this square is equal to 25 square. This will be square root of this. So square root of 25 is 5. Because 5 is square is 25, square root of 25 is 5. Don't do that. Isn't round of applause for the kids who, who got this, not for the teacher. Teacher anyways ha is paid for doing the job. No, I was for the kids. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, see, again, if you look at this one, I purposefully did not give you guys any clue with respect to Pythagoras theorem or anything else. Look at the graph. Graph is the visual side of geometry, if you look at it. It gives you the visualization against those no coordinate planes. When you, when you relate it that way, then you will see that you can find this length and you can find this length. These coordinates are nothing but the ways to locate those points, right? Yeah, you got the answer now? Can you give one more example? I'll give that in the assignment, okay? So, so, see, the thing is, when people talk about coordinate planes or graphs, they think it's, a, it's an overwhelming thing, very complicated thing. The answer is no, it's not. It just gives you a better way to visualize things. A better way to kind of locate the points, locate the shapes, find out the whereabouts of the points which is making the shape also. Yeah? Everybody got that? Anybody who, who got 5 without this reasoning is what I'm interested to know. Maybe there's another method of solving it which I was not sure. I'll come to you. What's the subject called again? What's the subject called again? Transformation. Transformation, rigid, non-rigid transformation. Non-rigid transformations are called dilations. And then this is... This is simple rigid translation because we are talking about, we are not doing any translation here actually. We just learn translation, we just learn coordinates and we are just using that to derive the length which was outside the syllabus I would say. But I was trying to see whatever you guys have learned as Pythagorean theorem, are you able to relate that concept here to get the length? Yep. Um, this is using Transformation can say, change shape if you're talking about dilation. Yes, it does. That's why you talk about zoom in, zoom out thing, right? So we talked about that. 
So there's no new concept that I would want you guys to worry about right now when it comes to trans tra translation or transformation. Now, now, everybody very serious, okay? I have been reminding you guys to let me know a topic that you would want me to teach. And I never got any response from any of you in WhatsApp. No, no, don't give me justification for that. I'm saying I did not get any response from anybody. Okay, not from Ara Vadrik. I'm saying anybody, including Myra. Okay. So what what it means is, if you guys don't choose choose your topic, I will keep on choosing the topic. Sometimes it might be known to you. Sometimes it will not be known to you, and you will not enjoy that. So either you choose your topic, or I will choose a topic which is effective for everybody. Okay. Yeah. No, whatever you say here verbally, I will forget it for sure. Send me a WhatsApp message. That's the only way your request gets registered. Okay. Um, does it have to be in the borders of level two education? Do you want to do quantum physics in this class? I mean, like calculus or I will. No, no. Do you want to do quantum physics in this class? Let me ask you a question for a question. So I will ask you. So. No, I said quantum physics. No, no, don't, beta, beta, this is where you have to restrict yourself. If you really want to be serious about what you do in your life, be focused, be concerned about what you are doing, where you are spending, investing your time. Okay. If you if you just keep on blabbering, that will not take you anywhere, and it will not take me anywhere either. All these kids on the screen, they will they will say, okay, this teacher is just wasting time. I will stop. I'll find out a better teacher. So you'll hurt yourself, you'll hurt me also. Okay? Let's not do that.